Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're going to be checking out a new mod on the Steam Workshop that adds ropes, or pretty much the closest thing we might ever see to ropes in Scrap Mechanic. Now, as you can see behind me, there is an awesome helicopter that is the Sky Crane 2.0. This is something I started building a long time ago. Finally, it is finished. I'm really excited to show you guys this build and also have some fun with the rope mod. But that is not all, guys. We're also going to be going over to a mud pit. We've got some trucks stuck in the mud. We're going to be using the rope mod to tow those things out of the pit. It's going to be loads of fun. And I'm also going to quickly show you guys an overview of of the mod and how you can use it yourself. So, this is going to be a great episode, let's get right into it. So right here we've got a little testing area for the rope mod. Now as you can see we've got a little platform here that has four of the rope mod blocks on each corner. Now the way it works is they're all connected to each of these buttons right here and the buttons are painted very specifically. If I bring up the paint tool you can see it's these four in the corner right here and they serve for each function of the rope. So the white one is what seeks a target. I believe the gray is the one that disconnects. Light yellow is reel in and dark yellow is reel out. So I just kind of put them like this on the back. Now we can get into the seat here and we can actually take a look at what this is like. So if we press the one key, look at that guys. We have four ropes that are now connected to the ceiling above us. Now if I press the two key, that is going to disconnect them. But now let's just quickly reconnect those. Now I want to show you guys I've seen some comments and discussions about this, and I guess it's true, I've tested this out. The drag block from the buoyancy mod actually works at reducing the bouncing of your creation. So if we press the 3 button, look at this guys, you can actually see we have reeled ourselves up, and look at that, we can actually kind of, oh, pull ourselves up into the ceiling. Now we can also just lower ourselves right back down to the ground and disconnect it just like that. So, really simple to use, I love how simple this mod is. Now I want to actually test this out guys. I don't know how high this can actually reach. So I've just kind of created a little section right here. Now we just did the first level which was 16 blocks. So why don't we step it up a notch here and try for 32. We'll press that. Oh look it reached and we can hoist ourselves up just like that. It still has a bit of bounciness but you can see the drag block. Uh, it actually does help it. Now okay we're starting to get a really weird bounce. All right, let's lower ourselves right back down to the ground. All right, so that was 32 blocks. Let's see how high we can go. So we did 16, we did 32. Now it's time to go up to the next level, 48. Let's see if we can reach. Oh, wow, yes, we absolutely can. Now let's reel ourselves up. Wow, look at this, guys. This looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm so happy with the way this mod actually does work. Now, you guys will of course notice that it's not quite ropes. It's more so just like these connecting points that kind of emulate the, uh, the effect of having a rope. Because we can just walk right through it. There's no actual physical thing there whatsoever. Now, let's just kind of disconnect that. So, that's the height of my platform there. I'm gonna have to go a little bit higher and see what we can do. Alright, so now we're gonna see if we can do 64 blocks. I don't know, this might be beyond the reaching point here. So, let's try this out. Oh, wow, can you believe it? It still reaches despite how far. So I'm not sure exactly how the mechanic works on what it's doing when it dries and reaches out for one of those uh, areas there, but it, it's definitely working pretty good. Okay, uh-oh, this is not good, guys. We are starting to spin out of control, uh, but I guess I'm gonna have to go up another level. All right, so the tower has been extended another 16 blocks. Let's see if this actually reaches. No way, look at that, guys. This still reaches. You know what? I'm just gonna kind of stop there. If you guys want to do your own little science experiments to see how far these ropes actually do reach, then uh, by all means, test it out because they just seem like they just keep on going. So, uh, loads of fun, guys. Make sure you check it out on the Steam Workshop. But now it is time to use the Sky Crane and also check out that mud pit. Now, this Sky Crane, guys, was loads of fun to make. I made it months and months ago. Finally, it's finished, and what a way to finally do a video on it with this amazing rope mod. Now, you guys are going to be super proud of me. Before I even hop in and start flying this thing, I want to show you guys, any longtime viewer of my channel, uh, or most people in general, they've hated me because I never put a gyro inside any of my flying creations, but guys, look at this. Finally, 
one of my helicopters has a gyro in it. So you guys must be super happy about that because this allows this helicopter to be super stable in the air and all you have to do is control the forward and backwards movements as well as strafing. Now the reason why I added the gyro specifically was because I needed to free up some buttons to be able to use the rope mod while we're using this helicopter. So it's pretty simple in design. Uh, in the middle here I have two switches and that is what you're going to use to turn your blades on as well as uh, get some lift with the helicopter and I've added a special function uh, at the one key here if I press that what it does is it's going to activate a sensor that makes it so that if you leave the ground it will actually lower you back down again and then once you get to a certain distance I believe it's 20 blocks look at that guys it's just going to stop you right there so now we're just floating at a very respectful height from the ground and we don't have to worry about anything now I have an, an a W and S converter so look at this we can actually just go backwards we can go forward using W and S and uh, we can also strafe left and right with two and three look at this guys we can also just do strafing like that so this is absolutely fantastic because it allows us to line up very very easily with our cargo so let's try and go directly over top of it just like this look at this guys we don't even have to worry about actually piloting this thing now all of the four buttons at the very end are used for the rope mod so let's do this guys we're gonna press the seven key Oh, no, okay, I want to be a little bit closer up to the front there. Let's disconnect that, move up ever so slightly, and there we go. That's pretty well centralized. So this little cargo bin, though, it does have... Okay, wait, no, we are not actually centered whatsoever. Hold on here, guys. All right, right there. Okay, that is perfect. Uh, so this little cargo bin, it actually does have the buoyancy mod uh, drag block as well, so it does kind of have a little bit of a weird effect to it. But check this out, guys. Look. We now have the cargo at hand, and we can press the 1 key again, and what that's going to do is it's going to turn off our little sensor mode. So that sensor that was keeping us down and low to the ground, we have turned it off. And now we are a flying helicopter with the ropes and the cargo. Look at this, guys. Oh, this is so cool. Now, like I mentioned, guys, there is a gyro in here, so we never have to worry about trying to level this thing off. It will always stay level. Now look at this. Now this is my favorite thing. So now we're going to actually just lower our cargo down. Now, I mean, we were definitely trying to push the limits uh, with the little test that we did at the beginning there. Uh, but that really didn't seem to actually uh, ever end. It just kept on going. So let's see if I can't lower this down to the ground. Now I'm actually... I'm drifting away from it, so I think I should be able to just kind of strafe. Look at this, guys. The way it's swinging around when we strafe. Oh, you know what? Let's just actually do some full speed flying with this cargo bin. Oh, man. This looks so cool. So, obviously, guys, the rope mod doesn't have any, like, loosening. There's no slack in the line. It acts more of like a bungee, I would say, uh, if that makes any sense, because it does kind of spring around, and using the uh, buoyancy mod drag block, uh, you can see it gives us a little bit of a weird floating effect just like that, but we can actually just kind of back up here. No, now, why don't we actually just try and lower down, and we're gonna put this in the, uh, in the middle of that little half pipe right there. Let's see if we can't get this down there. Now, if I press the four key, that does lower us down, but look at this, guys. We actually go down faster than our cargo so this is kind of the funny thing because if I didn't have those drag blocks then I would definitely have a lot of issues uh, trying to move this cargo because it would be bouncing around terribly now I suppose I could definitely try and reel it in now I don't know if uh, if reeling it in is a really good idea let's just reel it in a little bit Oh man, this is crazy. I can't believe we're actually using ropes. Now we're reeling it in, and it seems to be working. Wow, look at this. Okay, we're just gonna reel it in, right in place like so. Okay, now this is a lot more manageable as cargo. We're gonna lower ourselves down. Alright, so I've made it into the middle of the half pipe here. I think I'm gonna stop right about here, and this is where we're gonna start lowering it from. Let's just start dropping it down. There we go. The cargo is slowly extending out. Oh man. I am in love with this mod right now. I'm super excited, guys, to check out the mud pit. Don't worry, guys. We're going to be checking that out real soon. I just want to see how low can this go. I think we're also slowly rising away from the half pipe. I seriously can't believe it's still going. Let's just kind of lower ourselves down, though. I think this is taking way too long here. You know what? Let's just drop it right there, guys. Boom. And look, it's actually moderately floating in the sky still. Let's, let's try and just kind of 
drop ourselves down. Now, with the gyro, guys, this thing is so easy to fly. I can't even believe it. Let's see if we can't actually pick it up again mid-air here. This thing is so stable in flight. I'm honestly so happy with this. I hope you guys do check this out on the Steam Workshop. All right, so I couldn't quite get it mid-air, but look at this, guys. It's so much fun to just be able to grab something like that and just pick it up. And look at that. We are now on the go. This is revolutionary in scrap mechanic, guys. Now, that's enough of the, this helicopter, though. I think it's time we move on to the mud pit and the tow trucks. All right, guys, so welcome to the mud pit. So this was a little tile that I made real quick to simulate a mud pit. So I put a whole bunch of leaves and stuff into the ground. And what I did was I kind of carved it out so that there were some dips and all that. So you can't actually see where it is. So it kind of simulated, you know, a little bit of like where you can't see the dips in the mud. Okay, wait, that looks like a really deep spot. Now this truck was loads of fun to make knowing that I was going to be using the rope mod on it. Now I did kind of add just like a fake little winch on the front here that's on a bearing but as you can see the rope block is right there on the front and we have it all hooked up to the driver's seat now I did have loads of fun making this truck though it looks absolutely fantastic the wheels just look absolutely amazing and we also have these little sidebars here so that you can actually hop up into the main seat right here so I'm gonna use this first truck to actually get stuck in the mud so why don't we just kind of drive it in right about here oh geez that is one deep spot. All right, so let's just pretend that this truck is now stuck in the mud, guys. Look at this. We can't even get out of here. Oh, man, this mud is so deep. All right, so what we're going to have to do, though, is tow it out of there. Now, unfortunately, one thing that you do have to do, though, is you have to take your engine bearings and disconnect them. So what that's going to do is it's going to simulate that we are actually putting this truck in neutral. So that way, the actual tow truck can get the job done. So let's head on over here. Now, we've got all the lights set up on this one obviously the one with the lights off doesn't get out of the mud pit all right so here we go guys as you can see we've got four buttons set up just like the helicopter so that we can use it but this is a totally different application so let's see here let's drive up and into the mud pit just a little bit maybe right about here and let's snag it on here and there we go all right so you can't quite see it uh, but here we go. I think, yeah, there we go. You can see that rope is now tethered between the two trucks. So now let's try our best to get this thing out of here. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. We are punching it and we can't even budge this thing. So you know what you can do, though, is you can actually leave some slack in the line. So why don't I actually just back up a little bit here? And while I'm backing up, I'm going to leave some slack in the rope. So look at this. The rope is still connected right there between the two, but I can actually get a little bit of distance here. And now we can actually get a little bit more of a running start. So let's see if we can't jam it. Oh, there we go. Come on. Punch it. Drag the truck out. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, man. So look at that. We successfully towed that truck out. Now there is something else that you can do to get these trucks unstuck. So the other fun thing to do is actually using the rope mod as a winch that would be motorized. So we're just going to kind of, uh oh, we're going to try and not get stuck ourselves here. And we're going to try and connect onto that truck. Now, uh oh, oh no guys, I think I might need to grab another tow truck to tow this one out. Now maybe I can snag onto that front one anyway. All right, so we've got the first tow truck stuck in there. Now this truck is stuck right here. We do have it tethered. Oh man, this mud is so deep. Look at this though. I did manage to tether it right here. So we've got the tether on that one, but now I need another tow truck to get rid of this one. All right, so we've got a third tow truck. Now this one, we don't have to actually get into the mud pit. So we're just gonna back it up like this and we're gonna try and connect it right in the middle there a little bit. I wanna be able to get right onto that rear license plate kind of thing. Okay, perfect, right there. So what I'm gonna do this time though is, this is the other way that you can use this rope mod. So I'm going to just continuously extending this rope just like so and once we get a little bit farther back maybe right about here all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to reel the rope in as if this was a winch so let's see if we can't pull all of this in okay come on okay i might need to use reverse anyway but i'm using it as a winch and punching it in reverse come on can we pull all these trucks out okay no maybe i do need to do the running start all right so i bet you that would have worked with a single truck but in this case here guys it's definitely not going to work but now we're slowly making some progress though so you can actually drive up now there is no real slack you can't actually see the slack in the line but if you drive up to it it'll remember where you were before so you can actually get a lot of powerful tugs like that so why don't we just extend this rope just a little bit more 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to drive all the way up to the next truck. It's going to reel itself in, but this time we're going to be able to get way more momentum. Here we go. Oh, come on. Did we do it? Oh, I just remembered two. Oh, wow. See, now that's a rookie mistake, guys. I forgot to put the second truck in neutral. So we were definitely just fighting ourselves with all of that. I can't believe I forgot to do the first thing that you would ever want to do. Now this is probably going to be a lot easier to pull out. Here we go. I'm going to start reeling it in as well. Oh, man. All right. So, guys, this is revolutionary in Scrap Mechanic. Look at that. We now have like a daisy chain of tow trucks. Man, that is absolutely awesome. Uh-oh. So that is going to be the video for today, guys. Now, if you guys did enjoy these builds or the video, then make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. And if you guys want to tune in for more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. Now, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some of that Endless Scrap Mechanic. And I will be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.